Has guilt ever won in a battle against you? That is exactly what happened to me. I've been using a happy planner ever since 2016 and in 2020 I stopped. I didn't have a table for a little while and the struggle with taking pictures for Instagram and then planning just kind of took a step back. I briefly even considered not having a planner at all. A temporary lapse in sanity. The thing that upsets me the most, and I know that it's so silly, is that I didn't get to use this cat planner. And I just couldn't wait in the beginning. I'm getting back to it now. I've been at it for a couple of months. So in today's video, I'm merging my 2022 and 2023 planner, customizing it a little bit with inserts, redating and whatnot. So stick around and let's get to it. First, I've got to face the music and see how much I've got filled up each planner, which let me tell you, it's not a lot. For the beginning of the 2023, I've not even had a planner until March when my friend sent me one and I was like, hoo hoo, this is so exciting. So I'm just taking the pages I filled out of both 2022 and 2023 planners to put at the start as I could never throw them out, even if they're just the before the pens. I put them in chronologically, of course. Once I've got that down, I'm looking at the pages I have left of each of the planners. Ideally, I'd have more of the cat planner ones as they don't have this annoying green bit at the very middle that, of course, interrupts my spreads. And the cat dividers are just a no-brainer. I love cats, can you tell? I'm currently aiming for a year's worth of planner in here as it's such a shame to bin some of it, but I could be persuaded otherwise when I see the planners coming out at the end of the year. It looked a bit bulky with enough pages to last until July 2024, so I just set the 2024 aside and we'll see if I wanted to add them to and maybe use some expander discs. Once I've got all the pages for each month, I can start the redating. For the months and dates, I just made a simple page on my MacBook and printed it on the sticker paper. I've got days of the week for these monthly pages and it works out great as the week finally starts with Mondays. Now, when you think of a new week, in your mind, does it really start with Sunday? What's that about? I can't picture it. Let me know, which one would you prefer? I just had Mondays as my forever first day of the week. I don't know. I used scissors first, but quickly started cutting them first and then peeling it as it made it a bit easier. For the weekly spreads, I thought I'd use a little circle punch to save me the cutting and it looks that much neater with a perfect little circle. As a bonus, look! This punch says Eva, which is my international identity as the little eye on my name always causes trouble and confuses people. Now that I've got that set up, I have some last bits to add and tie together. I use this 2023 calendar as my workout tracker and the other bit is just random empty page so I thought I'll glue it together with my title page for the 2023 planner and this way I'll know it's a new year, new planner here. I have this running tracker for my 5k program and it's on a bit of a frail paper so I thought I'll print the next one on the sticker paper and glue them together to make it sturdier. I didn't account for it being on the other side though so I had to extend it a bit and repunch it otherwise uh, it could into my table which would be tragedy. <laughs> And now that I've got these punchlines, I thought I'd best decorate them a bit as well to pull my attention away from it. I'm using this beautifully lined sticker book from Live Love Posh. I think they turned out really cute, stickers always make everything better. I also have this other side of the calendar which annoyed me so I decided to make a weight loss tracker on that one. I've printed it on the sticker paper as well and I just made it for the last bits of the year. I think at the very bottom I'll add the before and afters. Appropriately, I'm using the fitness stickers to decorate it a bit as it just looks so sad without anything. I also made these goal pages in my last video, so going off that, I also wanted to add some inserts for my monthly goals and reviews and tasks and whatnot, which worked out amazing with this filler paper I've got. Just had to trim it a bit. I'll use it for my monthly reflections and I'll leave the planner at that. It's a work in progress after all. Thank you so much for watching you guys, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, you might want to check this one out that's all about my favorite planner tools. Thank you so much again and I shall see you in my next craft session.